What's up guys, Devin is here and I'm with one of you guys have been here for a while. You know I love my Amaryllis. Um, <clears throat> it's like September 5th right now, Labor Day weekend, and I wanted to do a very, very quick video to show you guys this is the time you need to do something with your Amaryllis if you want them to bloom by around Christmas time, okay? Your bulbs, they need to have a two month maybe three month period of dormancy in a dark, preferably cool area of the home for two to three months. You have to do some planning. You have to have to look at your calendars. <clears throat> two months from today would be October, November, November 4th, November 5th. Then how long is it going to take for your bloom, for your bulbs to actually bloom? If you remember last winter, most of mine were blooming within about six to eight weeks from the time that I basically started them. So if I have my bulbs, take them out of dormancy November 5th, that's going to put them right on schedule to start blooming around the middle of December, right around Christmas time, which is what a lot of you guys like to have. You can also take your bulbs out at a like kind of different, take three out November 5th, take another three out November 15th, you do kind of like a staggered um, style and then you're gonna have blooms for even longer inside the home during the cold, dark winter months. So how do we actually get them prepped? How do we get them ready? First thing you gotta do, they've been you know, enjoying soaking up the sunlight all summer long. Now we go and we're gonna cut off all of the foliage. So how many bulbs do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, most of these, you guys know why I love amaryllis. They're the most richly colored flowers anywhere. Um, I, the, you know, they kind of remind me of my mother actually. I don't know why, because she's an artist, she's a painter. You've seen all of her containers and her artwork in my, in my home. Um, but I think the rich colors remind me of her. And um, I'm, all, I'm just like addicted to color like she is. And so they kind of remind me of my mom in that respect. But I also have some of these bulbs that my uncle Court, they're one of his favorite flowers as well. So he's given me some bulbs, you know, plants, amaryllis, they're one of the very, very best plants to spread, to share, um, to gift, because they're so easy. But a lot of people don't know what to do after they have kind of <clears throat> had them bloom for the very first year. And you may have seen my other video that I did back in like March or April showing you what to do, what to, how do you prepare your bulbs for the summer, summer vacation. Now they're going into their bare hibernation, their winter, no, their pre-winter hibernation. So even this tiny little foliage, we want to cut off any green foliage. And you can see I just left kind of like, well, you can even go a little bit lower, right? Just chuck it out to the side. So I like to just store mine, keep them in their containers. We all know that the amaryls like to be root bound. So just keep them in those containers and then we're gonna store them just like this. So I'll show you guys two different options um, that I think are good areas to store them. So one option, just I have this closet here, empty space in the closet. I put down cardboard box, just laid it out flat. I put my crate on top of that cardboard and I shut it. Easy as that. A lot of us have a little bit of extra space inside the home, but if you don't, let's go down to the garage. So now the way that professional growers are actually going to keep their bulbs, they're going to keep them at like 50 degrees. So I actually have my garage is kind of like a basement and it stays really cool. So I'm going to keep, store mine in there in a cool, dark area of the garage. All right, let's go. Okay, so here I am in my nice, dark, cool basement. Uh, very ugly, but very useful for storing bulbs. Now I'm going to keep them here for the next eight to 12 weeks. If I'm going to have them here for 12 weeks, I will give them just a slight amount of water kind of after that four to six week mark. 
Otherwise, I'm gonna let them stay really nice and dry. This is gonna help them stay in their hibernation. Um, they're gonna be dormant during this time and I wanna try to keep it as dark as possible in here. This basement will stay right around 55, 60 degrees. Perfect temperature for these bulbs. And then, starting November 5th, I will start to take them out of here, bring them back upstairs into the sunlight, give them some water, give them a little bit more heat, and then they're gonna start to grow very rapidly and give us their beautiful, colorful, memorable flowers six to eight weeks after that. Amaryllis are really that easy. Do not throw them away at the end of that first year. Store them, save them. Keep that festivity going year after year. All right, hope this was a short, helpful video. Catch me soon. I have tons, now that I'm back in Pennsylvania, tons more videos on the horizon. All right, I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.